welcome to this class thank you for joining us here we want to solve this interesting problem and uh, from here we want to find the value of x plus y so given that root x plus root y is equal to 15 and x minus y equals to 15 now from here let's state that our x can be equal to root x then square so root x square is same thing as x. Why? Because square we cancel square root. And also y can also be written as root y squared. So from there, we can now rewrite, let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then we can rewrite equation 2 and say this instead of writing x minus y, we can write it in terms of root x squared. So we have root x squared now, then minus y can be written as root y squared, so which is equal to 15. So we have written equation 2 again now. Then from here, when we apply what is known as difference of two square, we can see that this is a square, this is a square, and we have difference. When we have a square minus b square so this can be written as this can be written as a plus b then multiply by a plus b sorry a minus b so we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b so that's from difference of two square then it means that a is like root x here and b is root y so we now have root x plus root y then multiply by root x minus root y which is same thing as what 15 and from here we can solve this further and what we have from equation 1 we have x root x plus root y in equation 1 is 15 so we have root x plus root y is 15. So we can bring that. Instead of writing root x plus root y here, we can decide to write 15. So we say 15 now, which is root x plus root y, then multiply by root x minus root y, we then be equal to 15. Then let's divide both sides by 15. Divide this side by 15. Divide this side by 15. Then 15, we cancel 15 here. And then... This will give us root x minus root y equals to 15 divided by 15 here is 1. So we have root x minus root y is 1. Then let's bring it down equation 1 from here. That is root x plus root y is equal to 15 from equation 1. And when we solve this from here, we can... You know, solve this equation by eliminating root y. So let's add to eliminate root y. So root x plus root x that will give us two root x. Then root y has been eliminated. Then equals to one plus fifteen that will give us sixteen. Then we can divide both sides by two, such that we now have root x giving us eight root s equals to 8. Then since we are looking for x, let's take the square on both sides. So square on both sides, that means square we can do square root and x will be equal to 8 square, that will be 64. So x equals to 64 and we can get the value of y. When we bring equation 2 down, equation 2 says x minus y is equal to 15. And since we got x to be 64, so that means 64 minus y is equal to 15. Then take, you know, you can take minus y here, become plus, take 15 here, become minus. So we can say y equals to 64 minus 15. And 64 minus 15 will give us 49. So y equals to 49. So we got the value of x to be 64, the value of y to be 49. Now, remember we are finding the value of x plus y. So we had these two values. But before then, let's check whether you know the 
value of x and value of y is valid from equation 2 when we check that equation 2 from equation 2 we are given x minus y equals to 15 we have x minus y equals to 15 that is when you bring the value of x that's 64 minus the value of y 49 this should be equal to 15 is this equals to 15 and when you subtract truly you see that 64 minus 49 is 15 this is equal to 15 so this is true now from equation 1 what we have is root x plus root y equals to 15 now put the value of x x is 64 root 64 now plus root y which is 49 is equals to 15 is this true now when you look at root 64 that's 8 plus root 49 there we give us 7 is this equals to 15 and when you have this side truly this side is 15 root is equals to 15 so this is valid left hand side equals to the right hand side then we can conclude that the value of x plus y that we are interested in will be 64 which is x plus 49 which is y so by the time we add this and we are getting 113 so add this together we get 113 that means the value of x plus y is 113 thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class. And bye for now.